All right, welcome back to Box Elder High School again tonight. Uh, I think this could be another good game. I hope so. That last one was good. You know, when uh, the RPIs first came out, Box Elder was in the 20s. We got a familiar face just walked in. Yep. You remember that face? Yep. Remember the name? His little brother's playing. Yes, sir. <laughs> See if he starts again. Very possible. All right, uh, so RPIs are out. When the RPIs first came out, uh, Box Elder was in the 20s. They started out the season 0 and 8. They got into region play, and since they've been in region play, uh, they've turned that around to where now, let's see, got the wrong paper in front of me. Five and nine, right? Is that what they are? In region, they oh, are region. six and one. They're on the top of region. We, Box Elder is on the top of the region. Uh, that decisive game against Bountiful at Bountiful. At Bountiful, they won by uh, by two at Bountiful, and they came out on top. Wasn't that an overtime game too? Um, I, yeah, I believe it was. So, I bet Bountiful has a little bit of chip I, on their shoulder. I, and, I think they do. And Box Elder has some confidence. Should be a good matchup. Yeah, I I totally think it's going to be a good matchup. Uh, you know. The Bees have one thing going for them. They're playing on their home court. Yep. Uh, they got confidence, and they have been improving all year long with Coach Beck. I think getting to know the coach and the plays and the way they play together, uh, they had a very rough start. And yep. moving from in the 20s up to number 15 now in the in the RPIs is huge. Yeah. Uh, I don't know too many people or too many teams that have made that big of a move in the RPI. They're definitely responding to the coach, and and uh, I really like the rotation that he has out there, the way he gets those boys out there and motivated. Yeah, on the other hand, Bountiful comes in on to the RPI at number seven. So there's a pretty big gap in there, but Box Elder beat him once before. Uh, one thing to, to point out, I'll, I'll point out a couple stats right here uh, off the top of my head. Um, when we played at Bountiful, Box Elder was missing, not, not that he's their, their best scorer, but he is their best rebounder. Or, uh, let's see. Not the best rebounder, but, but close, just under six rebounds per game. The name that we uh, talked about in the girls' game, Sachiwala. So they were without him the last time they played. That could be a difference maker. Was he uh, a scratch that Box Elder planned for, or was he a late second? I wonder about that if Box Elder planned on not having him out there. I, I don't know for sure, uh, but I think that he was out of town, uh, I don't know if he is, at that time, if he was on a football oh, yeah. trip or something like that. Uh, he is uh, signed to go to BYU to play football. So we have, uh, you know, very good athlete in Sachuala. He only scores uh, five and a half points a game. But again, he's a great athlete, great rebounder. Uh, leading the way for uh, Bountiful is uh, Carson Smith, uh, followed by, I believe it's a brother, Charlie Smith. Uh, Carson has seven, just under 18 points a game. Uh, Charlie's right at 14. Then Bryson Heath is at 12 to round off their big three. Box Elder's big three uh, go with uh, Kersey, just over 19. Uh, Max Eisenson, uh, just under 15. And uh, Trevor Wilkinson is about nine. So we're going to turn things over and get things ready for the flag.
match for the band. Now, let's meet the starting lineup for the Battle for Red Hawks. Starting for the Red Hawks, number one, Bryson Heath. Number five, Sawyer Crane. Number 11, Palateo Satuala. Number 23, Carson Smith. And number 32, Charlie Smith. All right, Sachuala uh, jumping center against Max Isaacson. Isaacson's got him by a couple inches. Officials waiting to make sure things get taken care of first. The student section has their flashing lights with all their noisemakers taken away. Isaacson with the... Big control on the tip. Almost knocked it out of bounds. Yeah. A little too slow getting that ball to Kersey. He wanted to go all the way around. Kersey wants three to start it off. No good. Isaacson the rebound. Gold traveling. <laughs> Offensive foul right here. I, I turned my head just a little bit. Coach is right in the ref's ear. It was perfect timing. Foul goes to Bryson Heath, the first foul of the game. Butterflies and everything else, the jitters are out there tonight. Two possessions, two turnovers. And a hold, no call. Coach wants it, but doesn't get it. And a nice block by Sachuala, but he was out of bounds trying to save it. He got to it before the ball hit, but he stepped out. Yeah, it's good to see Buchanan get in the lane like that, but Sachuala closed it up in a hurry.
No shot. Foul. This time that's going to go against uh, Sawyer Crane. Sawyer Crane. First person, second team foul. Two fouls already on uh, Bountiful. Just over a minute gone by. No score. Both teams looking for their first point of the game. And another turnover for Box Elder. And another turnover. That pass was about three seconds too late. It was there early. And then it closed up. Yep. Checking in for these, uh, number five, Trevor Wilkinson. Wilkinson comes into the game to replace Anderson. Inside, missed, rebound, put back, no good. Inside Sachuala. And a block Isaacson. by Isaacson. 16 left on the shot clock. Almost two minutes gone. And no score. 0-0. Zero, zero. That's defense. And a few turnovers. And the yep, and the crowd's letting him have it. Kicks back out, rebound goes to Sawyer, and a block Isaacson. by Isaacson. That's two already here in the first. In and out for Kersey. Foul on Kersey. Looked like he had a pretty good grip on the ball, but ref was looking right at it. Yep. Step back three. Good by Carson Smith to break the ice for the scores. It took two and a half minutes to get any kind of score on the board. Didn't expect that myself. Kersey misses. And Kersey picks up his second quick one. He was just trying to hustle after the ball on that. Coach doesn't go to his bench. Let's him stay out. Yeah, With he two is. Fouls. Oh, there he goes. Spoke too soon. And another block and a takeaway. And then a steal and two points there for Heath. That's unfortunate with that great defense. Three blocks already for Isaacson. Dominating the paint early on. Wilkinson, no good for three. Sachuala coming. And easy shot for Sachuala. Timeout, Box Elder has uh, no score in the first half of the first quarter for Box Elder. We'll be right back. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. Um, we purchased the mortuary, the funeral chapel, in 2001. My wife, Lori, and I have always felt that family is important, and when you have a family-owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. But we like to go one step further ahead.
case you're wondering, those are not the cheerleaders on the far side over there. Mentioned it in the girls' game, but uh, here in the boys' game, we yet to mention it. We Also, we apologize for not having the shot clock on the screen for you. But the cheerleaders are at a uh, cheer competition. The pom-poms threw me off. I may have thrown off a few people. But this is the Rockettes. Let's keep it lively over there in the student section. Get Box Elder back in this game. Inside Isaacson, he gets fouled. That's going to be Carson Smith with the foul. Foul on number 23, Carson Smith. Isaacson shoots two. What free throw line we got, Luis. Bruce? This is the crumble cookie free throw line, Greg. I like it. You said I can do it on this one, too? You can do it on this one, too. Okay. Just checking. Isaacson. There we go. Point we number got one. A, got the ice broken for the bees. Working that ball down to Isaacson down low. That's always a good thing. It, I think it's going to work in this game. I do, too. Wilkinson comes back with the rebound. He turns around, puts it in for two. Love it. Those hustle plays pay off. Yes, they do. And they, they uh, can really spark good runs in the game. The fadeaway, Sachuala gets two. He's already uh, two-thirds of his way past his average. <laughs> we need to remind him when it's at that time he's done. Isaacson wants three, got the three! And that's brought to you by Brigham Community Pharmacy. It's a beautiful shot out on that right-hand side. Jump ball as Mason gets in on it. It's a good thing they're not jumping the ball. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been different. He's got a slight disadvantage when it comes to that. The floater, no good. Tipped by Isaacson into the hands of Wilkinson. Box Elder's on a 6-0 run. Almost looked like a pass, but it was, I think it was supposed to be. Went off the rim. Wilkinson the rebound. Isaacson on the other end. Two points. Isaacson just playing them outside and inside. Garcia for three. That just drops the 8-0 run by Box Elder there with that three. Good response for Box Elder. Let's see what they come up with on this possession. Isaacson down low, kicks it out. Isaacson got caught for reaching on that one. But that was good ball movement as they double teamed Isaacson down low. He kicked it out for the wide open three. Got uh, Casey Anderson in the game. I think he might have come in a little bit ago, but. <laughs> Smith for another three pointer. Back to back threes for Bountiful. That's an interesting call, Bruce. That Did you see that? That was an interesting call. He was on the ground and accidentally tipped over him, and they called a foul on Wilkinson on the floor. Yeah, Coach Beck's wondering what's going on with that, too.
And two more for Carson Smith. Carson Smith's clearing out the lane with his elbow, nothing called. And Coach Beck was letting the officials know too. They're doubling uh, Isaacson down low. Three ball, Wilkinson, no good. Ness in the rebound. Good hustle. Oh. Both players went up high for that ball and came down awkward, but both of them hopped up in a hurry. Here we are, Bruce, under 30 seconds in the first. And jump ball. Remains Bees basketball. Seven seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Mason Jepson comes in. Isaacson will get a get a breather. Isaacson's had a good start to this game. We need him to get a breath and get back in it. And in and out. Shot clock's off. And they get an easy bucket there. Wow, Bob, Bob Seller was just caught looking away just for a second. That's all it takes. Scoop it and score it. That was Jordan good. Mason uh, gets one of the right at the buzzer. So Box Seller kind of got themselves in a hole. It took them half the quarter before or more before they even scored a point. So a little slow start. We'll be right back. For a loved one currently suffering from chronic knee pain, arthritis, or osteoarthritis of the knee, has physical therapy, surgery, steroid injections, ibuprofen, and other NSAIDs fail to provide relief, then you may be a candidate for our advanced arthritis relief protocol. The AARP program utilizes the latest fluoroscopic guidance technology to deliver a new joint fluid supplement that cushions the knee and reduces pain. Specialized knee bracing is then applied to unload the knee and increase joint space. Finally, advanced rehabilitative therapies are performed to strengthen the muscles and ligaments of the knee. When combined, these treatments have helped many patients reduce or even eliminate their joint pain and reduce Return to normal active lifestyles. The best part is the AARP program is covered by most insurance, including Medicare. Tired of living with knee pain? Then call the number on your screen right now to see if you qualify for our advanced arthritis relief protocol. What do you think was said of that huddle at half at that quarter change, Bruce? You got to be strong in there with those guys. Got to got to work the ball in, and uh, had a few turnovers in there we shouldn't have had. Yeah. Kersey and Isaacson start out the quarter on the bench, and still not starting it. Good defense by Nesson. And another one of those turnovers and then two points off from it. I mean, you get the rebound. I mean, we've had, there's been. At least two a, times a, down two, there. Two, if huh? not three yeah. times that we've done something like that where you give them two points real easy after we do something really good. Yep. Gilman, the foul. Buchanan playing tough down there, trying to call for the ball down low. Okay, we got Kersey and Isaacson back in. Max Isaacson at number three, Elijah Kersey at number 14. Ryan Jan Jansen coming in as well. Checking in for the Red Hawks, Sawyer Crane. Carry, no call. Isaacson puts it in. It's beautiful, isn't it? He's almost textbook, if not textbook. 
That works for me. It's two yep. points. Yep. Um, There's two for Charlie Smith. Bountiful's got him doubled up here early on in the second. Kersey's yet to see the bottom of the net. Nesson comes up short and a steal there by Jensen. Way to work the passing lane. Nice pass by Kersey to give Nesson the better shot. Good unselfish play. Two quick ones by Gilman on the other end. Nesson from the elbow, no good. Rebound goes to Howe. Howe, no good. Kersey the rebound. Kersey takes it in. Out of bounds. Good hustle there. Lindquist uh, tried to save it, but he was out of bounds when he tried to save it again. Yep. Some go in for Buchanan. That pass was not there. That was a heck of a catch by Kersey. Five seconds to shoot. Kersey draws the foul. Sawyer Crane with two fouls now. You hear that? Crumble cookie free throw line. What flavor is it? I'm wondering if it's that graham cracker sandwich. I'm still dreaming about that from last week. Yeah, but it's a different week, different cookies. Oh. I didn't peek at them yet. Uh-oh. That was a good shot by Kersey. Let's put the we, next one in, too. We got a surprise coming up for this week. Oh, that'll be good. Any hint on what the surprise is, or do they have to wait? Yum. Okay. Yum is the hint. Yum. Okay. By some, it's been said it's the best cookie Crumble has had. Okay. And a turnover by Bountiful ends up in the hands of Kersey. He pulls it up for three. Nailed it from downtown. Brigham Community Pharmacy and Kersey link up. It's a good combo. Kersey's done he that before, shot those NBA range threes. That was just a plain good move by Carson Smith. That was good defense and a uh, heck of a shot. Yeah. Isaacson misses on his left-handed shot. And out of bounds, Isaacson Got, uh, got away with one. I think so, too. Mason's bringing the ball down. Using the hand signal for the play. Let's see what they got. Isaacson for three. That's two. Three-pointers from Br uh, Brigham Community Pharmacy for Isaacson.
Almost picked off by Sumco. Man, they miss Isaacson down there when he's not there. Yeah. Nice kick by Mason. Then the rebound goes to Sachuala. And that's the difference when Isaacson's down low or not. Makes him think twice and three times about it. Got a foul. I believe it's on Sachuala. It is. That's his first 13 foul for the Red Hawks. Checking in for the Bees, number 15, Carter Buchanan. What was that whistle for? Bruce? I don't know what the whistle was for. How's that a delay warning oh. for White? Not sure. Not quite understanding that. I mean, they passed it in and they blew it dead. Sumco wanted three. He got the ball back after everything that went all along through there. Sumco three in the corner again. And it goes the other way. And uh, flushing it down that time was Charlie Smith from the three-point line. Kick ball. Kick ball. Twenty seconds on the shot clock. Is that what they reset it to with kick ball? That's what it looks like. Hmm. Under a minute to go here. Not as many fouls this quarter as the first. But the intensity is there. Yeah. Both sides. I'm not sure what they were meaning by that. Huh. Are we calling a delay a game again? If it is, it's on the official. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and one too many steps there for Mason. And out of bounds, off from Heath on that one. And number 21, Jason Anderson. About three seconds difference between shot clock and game clock. Now we're going to call a foul right there on Lincoln Smith. We, we got to say first names. They got three Smiths on the team. Yeah. And 
And another foul on Satuala. That, I think, is three. Just two. Just two. Big grin on his face after he fouled that one. He must have been thinking about yum, crumble cookie. Isaacson makes the first one. Let's keep that flavor in mind. Let's do it. Student section, I think, being uh, kind of reined in on the other side by the faculty there. Yeah. And missed that one. That's going to be a foul. Jepson for the foul. That's not a bad foul, though. I mean, it, now they got five seconds to inbound, get set back up, and still make the shot or take the shot. And that's only our first foul of the quarter. Heck of a shot getting that off. Great defense there by Jepson. So, Box Elder did better. They scored three more points the second quarter than they did the first quarter. So, we got the Rockettes. They're going to give us a, our halftime show here. And then we'll have our Crumble Cookie halftime show right after that. will be performing their first place palm routine. The Rocket, Rockets also invite all youth aged 3 to 15 to sign up for future Rockets, which will be held February 6th and 7th. Contact a drill member for more information. Ladies and gentlemen, the box other Rockets.
Session stand to get some food or drink. Kent's Market is your hometown grocery store meeting your everyday needs. Whether it's fresh produce, quality meats, or a made from scratch bakery, their excellent customer service will meet your needs, even at their pharmacy. Kent's has stores located in Brigham City, Tremont, Roy, and Clearfield. Check us out on Facebook or on our website, www.kentsgrocery.com. Oh, and don't forget, every Friday, it's Fritter Friday. All Fritters are two for one dollar. Kent's Market, locally owned and operated. My name is Sean Filson. Paul Winterton. Stephanie Haley. Adam. With the Joint Regeneration. Joint Regeneration. Joint Regeneration. Joint Regeneration Center of Utah. Our team is delivering the best care possible to patients that are suffering from osteoarthritis, degenerative joint disease, and also looking to optimize their. Earning your degree doesn't have to be complex. USU Brigham City lets you stay close to home and save money. As an Aggie, you'll have access to a personalized education with student support from faculty mentors. Let us help you achieve your goals your way. On campus. Online. This is your U-State. The following was performed by everyday riders like you. Please try it home. <laughs> Matt's a straight ripper. I heard the turbo and I just giggling under my helmet. <laughs> look at that. I look like a pro. Dude, I love that thing. <laughs> We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. A lot of funeral homes will just say, here's your bag and thank you for letting us do your services, but we like to go one step further ahead. Hi, I'm Ryan from Cover Up. We offer embroidery and screen printing to help you promote your business. We can also help you with your church or school groups, family reunions, or any other occasion that might require a t-shirt. So come in and see us at 47 South Main in Brigham City or 115 West Main in Tremont. All right, welcome to our Crumble Cookie Halftime Show here tonight. Here are the cookies of the week. We have the cannoli, we have the cinnamon square, we have a semi-sweet chocolate chunk. We got peanut butter Reese's Pieces, strawberry crumb cake, and cookies and cream. Let's see, who do we have for our testers here? We're gonna start with the girls first, is that okay? I'm, Li I'm Liberty. All right, Liberty, who else do we have? Nancy. Liberty and Nancy? P.J. Sutton. And P.J. Sutton, all right. Liberty, take, a, take your favorite one, Reese's Pieces. What do you think of that one? Good. All right, Nancy, it's your turn. Strawberry crumb cake. All right, your eyes got big. How's that? Mm. <laughs> You're supposed to say something that sounds better. Very good, thank you. I'm PJ. A, I'm a chocolate guy, so I'm going chocolate. Awesome. Nice. That's nice. Awesome. All right, Liberty, you get to try another one. What's your favorite? Okay. 
grab a grab a piece out of there on that one. Cinnamon Square. And your box elder fees. I'll hold it for you. Dig in. There you go. We should have brought a fork for that one. What do you think of that one? Eh. Which one's better, Reese's Pieces? All right. Okay, Nancy, you're up. All right. Cookies and cream. Which one's your favorite out of those two? You'd rather go with the uh, strawberry crumb cake. That's pretty good. All right. It's good that you have a hard time making up your mind. Okay, All PJ. Right. For my Italian brothers, I'm going. All right. Oh, that, that's good. That's quality. I'm a chocolate guy, but that cannoli is good. That beat the semi-sweet? Oh, yeah. That was good. All right. Okay, what kind of cookies do we like? Crumble cookies. <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you very much, you guys. Thank you, Crumble Cookies. All right, thank you, Crumble. Second half, getting ready to tip off here. I guess we don't really tip it off, but Box Elder has some catching up to do. All right, Greg, we're ready to start half number two, and uh, this is a low-scoring game for the Bees. Yeah, 23. They've had a number in that first half that's just gone halfway in and bounced out. But you've also got to give uh, credit to, to Bountiful. They've, they've played some tough defense, and every time Isaacson gets the ball, or even before he gets the ball, he's getting double-teamed down low. Yeah, we got uh, Kersey back in. He, uh, he sat a fair amount that first he, half. He avoided his third foul, which was good. But they're playing him tight. And Sachuala with a good defensive move there to get the steal. Sachuala takes it in and scoops and scores. Four bountiful players closing off the drive lane for Kersey. Isaacson gets the layup to go. Bountiful's coach, uh, Sponia, trying to pick up the pace out there a little bit. Wide open was Crane, no good. Here comes Kersey. And another turnover. Kersey trying to encourage his teammates out there. Uh, Try to get a little bit more effort in them. And another turnover. Box Elders uh, got more turnovers this half than they have points. Buchanan gets the foul. His first, first team foul of the third quarter. Bucket's good. Crane shoots one. Saw your crane at the free throw line.
and misses the free throw. Good help side defense on there. That's Heath that's working uh, the backside there. Then he picks up a foul, hits second. Kersey double pumps, misses, Sachuala the rebound again. And uh, Kersey deflects it, ends up in the hands of Isaacson. I wish Wilkinson would have attacked the basket a little bit more on that. That would have been a perfect time to do it. And two more easy ones on the other side. Coach Beck wants a timeout. We'll be back right after this. Nucor is a, a great company. Um, they care about their people. They care about the environment. I've never been restricted to, to fall in a box. I've never been told that I can't do something. I saw it as a great opportunity to develop a career. You create your own destiny at Nucor. We're building something bigger out here at Nucor. Come join us. Got Sumco and Jepson in the game. Isaacson for another crumble cookie three point, or that's a free throw. How about Brigham Community Pharmacy? <laughs> that almost has a good ring to it. Crumble cookie three pointer. Thank you, Brigham Pharmacy. Sachuala with a. Kersey misses his three ball. On the other side, Heath doesn't. And there's a foul on Heath. Little, little ticky tack on that one, I think. There's three on him. And. Uh, I believe that was a warning on the Bountiful Bench. That looked like it. Made the coach sit down and everything. Nice pass inside Isaacson. 
to Jepson for two. Moving without the ball always is a good thing. And a turnover. Isaacson leading the fast break. And Sachuala with the rebound and Jepson the foul. Foul number 33, Mason Jepson. That's his second, second team foul. Two on Jepson. Two three zone here for Box Elder. And too easy right there in the middle. Carson Smith gets two. Count the bucket. He's fouled. Sachuala with the foul. That's three on Tatsuwala. That was a good move, taking it from the left-hand side up underneath to the right-hand side. So we got Isaacson at the crumble cookie free throw line for the old-fashioned three-point play. We need a spark out there. Hopefully this will be it. Bees are not looking themselves here tonight so far. Now let's... Good help and switch there on defense for the Bees. Buchanan's getting told to watch his hands underneath there. Two easy ones there for Charlie Smith. Isaacson inside, misses. And coming the other way. Another three ball for Heath. Almost in the same spot a couple minutes earlier. That puts Bountiful up by 20. Heath. With those two right there, Buchanan with a, with a point. With his two three-pointers, puts him over his three-pointer average per game. He usually only gets one a game. Gilman uh, gets three. Bountiful shooting well tonight. Yeah, they are. Box Elder struggling. Gilman with the foul, I believe. They close up on Isaacson in a hurry when he gets it down low. Send that help defense. Timeout. Bountiful, we'll be right back. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. Um, we purchased the mortuary, the funeral chapel, in 2001. My wife, Lori, and I have always felt that family is important, and when you have a family-owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. But we like to go one step further ahead. Investing in your education is an investment in yourself. All right, 107 left to go here in the third. Bees uh, just not finding the hole tonight. Much like the girls game, we had Kersey get into foul trouble and had to sit, but that's not when they made their move. Yeah, already here in the third quarter, uh, Bountiful's put in 23 to uh, Box Elders 12. They've all, 
pretty close. It doubled up the bees here in the third quarter. Percy just picked up another one. Is that his third? Yep. That is his third, 13 foul. All the bees. Gilman for three, misses everything this time. Student section letting them know it. Foul on Garcia. That puts him at the crumble cookie free throw line. Good job. Our, our computer guy is enjoying a couple over there. He's giving thumbs up for Crumble. Are we allowed to say his name? I don't know. Are we allowed to say your name? That's why I <laughs> Shot clock is off. And two more for Smith. Four, four bountiful players right there next to Kersey on that one. All right. Here we'll we go. Final quarter. For quarter number four right after this. Her loved one currently suffering from chronic knee pain, arthritis, or osteoarthritis of the knee has physical therapy, surgery, steroid injections, ibuprofen, and other NSAIDs fail to provide relief, then you may be a candidate for our advanced arthritis relief protocol. The AARP program utilizes the latest fluoroscopic guidance technology to deliver a new joint fluid supplement that cushions the knee and reduces pain. Specialized knee bracing is then applied to unload the knee and increase joint space. Finally, advanced rehabilitative therapies are performed to strengthen the muscles and ligaments of the knee. When combined, these treatments have helped many patients reduce or even eliminate their joint pain and return to normal active lifestyles. The best part is the AARP program is covered by most insurance, including Medicare. Tired of living with knee pain? Then call the number on your screen right now to see if you qualify for our advanced arthritis relief protocol. All right, welcome back. Huge quarter that third quarter for Bountiful. They had 25 points in that quarter. They had some three-point shots that went down. And... You know, Box Elder's defense got to be a little bit better. They got to be able to stop them. They have not been able to do that yet. Definitely not uh, Box Elder's best game of the season by far. Yeah. And a simple little turnaround jump hook there by Carson Smith. He just can't give him that much room. Wilkinson finds the basket for two. Kersey almost with the steal. Gilman, no good on three-pointer. What's the call? Foul on Box Elder, looks like. 
Jepson? No, no, no Mason. Mason. Jordan Mason. That's his first first team foul of the fourth quarter. Good shot there by Carson, Carson Smith. Smith. Decent defense there by Nesson as well. Foul on which one are they going to call it on? Charlie Smith. And they got a bunch of fresh legs coming in here for Bountiful. Box Elder just not that deep. Nice rebound by Kersey. Kersey's going to go to the line and shoot two. This one again on Sawyer Crane, his fourth. So Kersey at the crumble cookie free throw line. Flushes the first one. So Crane stays in with four fouls. Saying last touch by Isaacson. And a steal by Kersey. Mason for three, no good. Ends up in the hands of Sachuala. And another steal by Kersey, but Nesson had to go out of bounds. Shouldn't say that probably sounded wrong. Not saying it was Ness's fall. It's just no, no, that, yeah, just that trajectory of the ball headed that way, and Nesson tried to save it. Nice hustle there by Heath. Wilkinson should have pulled that one back out. It's too far under. Sachuala underneath, wide open. Timeout called by Coach Beck, and Coach Beck having words with the official. And Coach Beck just got a warning. So I think both coaches have a warning, full timeout. We'll be right back in just a minute. Kent's Market is your hometown grocery store, meeting your everyday needs. Whether it's fresh produce, quality meats, or a made-from-scratch bakery, their excellent customer service will meet your needs, even at their pharmacy. Kent's has stores located in Brigham City, Tremont, Roy, and Clearfield. Check us out on Facebook or on our website, www.kentsgrocery.com. Oh, and don't forget, every Friday, it's Fritter Friday. All Fritters are two for one dollar. Kent's Market, locally owned and operated. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. We do aftercare. That's where Melanie Christie will go in and meet with a family after the services have been completed, and she'll help them with Social Security, help them file for life insurance, help them with federal government employee work, we go through credit cards. We, we help the family with all that transition that's coming out. All right, Box Elder Ball. Just under six left to play here in the game. And another foul underneath. They got the ball to Isaacson. He'll go to the crumble cookie free throw line. 
And this one's going to be on Lindquist. Isaacson shoots two for the Bees. He's good with the first flavor of crumble cookies. Yep. I think he should stay with that one. I'm glad he did. You made them both. Box Hiller's got to find their man. There's a couple people out there not knowing who they're guarding. Travel, no call. Looked Coach, like he, Coach Beck's not happy. Yeah, it looked like he lost his footing and tried to make up for it by traveling, but. He did. No call. <laughs> Oh, what do we got? We got a technical foul on uh, Coach Beck. I'll put Heath at the free throw line to shoot the technical. One for two for Heath. Taking for the red box, number zero, Arturo Garcia. I'm not sure what that was all about. Conversation with the clock man down there. Mason with the foul. Officials still talking to him, and I believe Mason is going to come out. Foul on number two, Jordan Mason. That's his second and third team. Nope. Number four, Kane Anderson. And number 33, Mason Jepson. Just with a different player. Okay. Jepson versus Anderson. 30 second timeout. We'll take one and be right back. Earning your degree doesn't have to be complex. USU Brigham City lets you stay close to home and save money. As an Aggie, you'll have access to a personalized education with student support from faculty mentors. Let us help you achieve your goals your way. On campus, online, this is your U State. I was just noticing in that timeout, what do all the drummers have in common over there? That pep band. Drumsticks. Oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> They're not doing it with their elbows and their fingers, huh? What else? I don't know. What are you thinking? I was thinking they're all girls. There They're they jamming are. out over there. They are. Girl power. Love it when the pet band's here, don't we? Absolutely. Mr. Reader does a good job with them. <laughs> What's he saying? Play the game. <laughs> That's good advice. Let's play the game. And Sumco with the pick and the two. Way to read that pass, Sumco. He knows how to play football. Yeah, I love it. Anderson the rebound and the foul on Garcia. 
Anderson, that was a great, he came down strong with that ball and caused the foul. Foul on zero, Arturo Garcia, that's his second 14 foul. I mean, that, that was textbook on how to, how to take down a rebound. Yep, nothing soft about that. Isaacson's working it down low, trying to get that ball, but Bountiful keeps shutting him down. Three ball, corner, no good. Kersey, the rebound, and he gets fouled. I believe that's going to be Charlie Smith, it is. Nesson gets set to come back in. Crumble cookie. Free throw line, here we go. There we go, I like that one. Yeah. Box Elder just had no rhythm here tonight whatsoever. I don't even want, know what to attribute it to. It seems like they're, I don't know. Well, you gotta give some credit to Bountiful. Yeah. I mean, they've, they've played them tough. Another three ball there by Carson Smith. He's blowing kisses at the student section for some reason. Sumco, or not Sumco, he just had the ball. Kersey can get up in the air. Yeah, that was a good rebound. And two points, assist, Nesson. Timeout called by Box Elder. We'll be right back. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. A lot of funeral homes will just say, here's your bag and thank you for letting us do your services, but we like to go one step further ahead. All right, uh, just under half of the fourth quarter to go. Box Elder almost already in this half has got, they're too shy of uh, the number of points they've made in any one quarter so far tonight. Yeah, we need a, looks like a coach has some good plays drawn off. Let's finish strong. Lined up for a football play here, it looks like. And there goes Carson Smith. That's, I, I told you football play, didn't I? He caught it like a receiver, but he put it down like, I don't know. Not too often does that go through the hands of Kersey. Yeah, he has good hands. And another timeout. We'll be right back. Nucor is a, a great company. Um, they care about their people. They care about the environment. I've never been restricted to, to fall in a box. I've never been told that I can't do something. I saw it as a great opportunity to develop a career. You create your own destiny. We're building something bigger out here at Newport. Come join us. Not sure how many timeouts they got left, but I don't see Bountiful in the need of using any. All right, already Smith's looking to run. And Nesson keeps up with him that time. 
They're calling out a block on Nesson inside. Picked up there by Sawyer Crane. Jepson, no good. Anderson, the foul. Next one's going to be a free throw shooting foul. Luke Grant coming into the game here. Box Elder only has one starter out on the field or out on the court here right now. Bountiful, on the other hand, has a three-point shot. Three. Make that four starters still out on the on there, and they got a 30-point lead. Interesting. Jepson for two. Calling that on Grant, I, that was pretty ticky-tack, I thought. I did, too. Now they're at the free throw line. I, yeah, I, I, unless something happened before yeah. that I didn't see. Thought that was good defense. Grant was playing. There, they finally empty the bench. Got to get the man that's shooting the free throws out, too. Yep. Two and a half to go. Late whistle. Probably the right call, but a late whistle. That will put Case and Anderson at the crumble cookie free throw line. and makes the first. And the second. Three-pointer good even by the bench. Lincoln Smith with that one. And a strip right there, and then a foul. Case and Anderson with the foul. Foul on Case and Anderson, that's his first. Miles and Anderson shoots two for the Redhawks. Denner at the free throw line. Makes them both. Jepson goes to the crumble cookie free throw line. Three of the four, uh, five starters for uh, Bountiful are seniors. So they will have two starters returning. And Jepson makes him. 
And somebody needs to play some defense. And travel, no call. And a foul on Jepson. Could have helped him up. Three ball downtown, no good. That'll be another foul on Jepson. Offensive foul. Oh, away from the ball, there's an offensive foul on Lindquist. Not a Mason Jepson foul. Hmm. They were going. I, I was watching the up. ball, not away. Yeah, me too. Of free throws in the last two minutes. Crumble cookies getting their money's worth here tonight. They are. A little deeper on the bench here for Box Elder. Checking for the bees, number 10, K5, number 12, Grant Whitman. Number 14, Ryan Jensen. Gunderson, Klein, and Whitman coming in for Box Elder. And there's a bump right there for Grant. Foul number 44, Luke Grant. That's his second to put. Another free throw. Lincoln Smith at the line to shoot. Haven't seen many of them tonight, yeah, have we? Don't look away, you'll miss them. <laughs> Also, our game partners tonight, we haven't talked much about them, but Brigham City Outdoors. If you're ready to go skiing, stop by. If you're going skiing tomorrow, stop by in the morning and head up to the hills there. Uh, I've checked the prices. I've used their skis, and they've got better prices uh, than, than the ski hills do. So stop by and uh, rent some skis and go skiing. Sounds like you had a good time with those skis. I got sore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was a great time. Good. Uh, also, Brigham Heating and Cooling. Uh, so make sure that you call them for all your HVAC needs, whether it be air conditioner or uh, furnace. And Jensen gets a Brigham Community Pharmacy three-pointer. There's the final seconds as they tick away. It's gone final. Box Elder in that fourth quarter ended up with a 22 point quarter. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Bountiful had a 31 point quarter. Uh, Bountiful had a 56 point half in the second half. Looks like according to the notes, Bountiful won every quarter. Yes, they did. So we appreciate Bountiful coming here, those boys both sides. 
Played hard, coaches, student section. A 31-point victory for Bountiful. That's exactly what they scored in the fourth quarter. So we appreciate everyone listening. When's our next broadcast? Next Wednesday? Next Wednesday. Uh, we Woods will, Cross? Uh, let me see. Get back to my calendar. The 31st? Is that Wo one? Woods Cross on the 31st, yes. Okay. Boys and girls. Boys and girls from here on out. We've got Woods Cross and Northridge and then Roy left to go. So please stop by. Thank our sponsors for making this happen. We appreciate uh, them making it possible for us to do this. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well as much as we are. Then uh, we'll be back next Wednesday for some more B basketball. Good thank night, everyone. Thank you for your help here, Greg and Scott.